Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will introduce you to a very new kind of software which is called BricsCAD. Now this BricsCAD software is also very similar to Autodesk AutoCAD which you have been using for some time now and you obviously know that I basically upload videos of AutoCAD software. But here I will make a very different video and in this case I will make a simple mechanical drawing to introduce you to the basics of BricsCAD software. You can download BricsCAD trial version from the link in the description and if you feel like it's your go-to software for your CAD drawings well so go ahead get the software and try it now and one of the best thing about this software is you can save your files in DWG format yes the native DWG format which Autodesk AutoCAD recognizes so let's begin so I've got this BricsCAD software installed here and now I will start with a new drawing so I'll click on this new drawing and here is the user interface of BricsCAD. So it also has the ribbon kind of environment. We have all of these different tabs which we can use to make the drawing and we can also use the shortcut keys. So I will use a combination of tools from the tabs and the panels as well as the shortcut keys here in this tutorial. So I'll make this mechanical component first in 2D and then I'll convert it into 3D. So let's begin by setting the proper units so for the units you can type un and press enter and here you can clearly see that the insertion unit is millimeters so that's the unit which we are using right now you can change this value to anything else just by clicking here and from this drop down you can select from any of these units so i'll stick with millimeters for now so i'll just change it to millimeters and I'll close it all right so now I'll start by making the circles and for that I'll type C and press enter and the circle command will start you can see the name of command as well as the instructions right here on the command bar and you can also see its sub commands right here on this panel if you want to start the command not from the shortcut and from the panels then you can simply just go to the panel as well so I'll just press escape a couple of times and then I'll go to sketch and here we have the circle tool so you can start the circle command from here as well and you'll end up with the same results we have the command here on the command line and we also have the sub commands on the panel so I'm gonna type C again and I'll press enter to start the command from the shortcut and I'll click at a point in the space and now we have the circle on our tooltip and also you can see the radius value here so you need to simply type the radius so I'm gonna start with the smallest circle of radius 50 and press enter now I'll press enter again to repeat the last command and I'll hover my cursor close to the boundaries of the circle or the circumference here the center will be highlighted and then I'm gonna make the second circle of radius 60 I'll press enter again the same center and this time the third circle and the radius is 64 in this case all right so we have the three circles here now I'm gonna type L for line and press enter now I'll go to the same center and now I want to make a line at an angle of 45 degrees so I'll simply press the tab key and now you'll see that my option will shift from length to the angle here and we can now type the angle in this field so I'm gonna type 45 and enter all right there we have it so we need an approximate length of this line so it hardly matters how long this line is we just need to make sure that the line is long enough to pass this last circle now we have this intersection point and I'm gonna use that so I'll go to circle again so C enter and from this intersection point the intersection point of this circle and this line which we just now made I'm gonna make another circle with a radius of 7 and enter enter again and once again the same center and the radius is 13 this time and enter 
Okay, so we have these two circles here. Now, we don't need this one, so I'm going to select and I'll delete it. We also don't need a part of this circle. So for that, I'll trim it. So I'll go to trim and now I'll press enter. Pressing enter will select everything in the drawing area as a trimming boundary. So now we can trim the parts that we don't need. So I don't need these two. So now I'm going to press escape and I'll delete carefully this part of the drawing. So I'll select that and I'll press delete. So there we go. Now we can make an array. And using array, we can make multiple copies of this. So here on the arrange panel, we have this polar array. So I'll select the polar array. And now I'll select this object and this object, these two circles. Well, the first circle and this one is an arc. So a circle and this arc. Now press enter, specify the center point, And we have six objects, but we need four. So I'll go to this items option in the panel and now I'll type four and enter. And here we have it. This is the array which we need. Now I'll press enter again to exit the command. All right, so the basic shape of this part is done. Now let's make other parts here. So I'm gonna go to line again, enter. And from this center, I will drop a construction line. So I'll just make sure that this construction line ends on the last circle right here. And I'll press escape. All right, now I'll go to line again. So for that, I'll simply press enter to repeat the command. Now I'll click here. And now I'll move to the right. And I'll add a distance of 25 and enter. Now I'll move downwards. And again, another distance. So this time I'm going to type 33. Enter. Now I'll move to the right. 72 enter I'll move up 22 enter and I'll move to the left but I'll just make sure that this line is long enough to pass this last circle so that's it now I'll press enter to repeat the command and I'll track this point so I'll go to center I'll track this point I'll click on this intersection and I'll make sure that it touches this intersection point right here I'll press enter and now we can just trim this extra line. So I'll go to trim, enter and I'll trim this part. All right. Now let's go to line tool again. So I'm going to type L enter and from this endpoint, I'll start my line again. So I'll type 11 enter. I'll move to the right and I'll add a distance of 70 and enter. Now I'll move it up and I'm going to type 22 and enter and enter again to exit this command. Now again, I'll type C for circle, enter and now I'll make two circles here. So I'll just click here and I'll type 22 for the first radius, enter. And now again here and this time 9.5 as the radius for second circle. All right. So here we have it. Now we actually have a lot of construction lines, the drawings, which we don't need actually. So let's just get rid of those construction lines or the extra objects. So this one is a construction line. We also have this one. This is a construction line. This circle is also actually a construction geometry. So I'm going to just get rid of these three. And now let's add some details. So for that, I'll go to fillet. So the fillet tool is right here. So we have the chamfer or the chamfer and then we have fillet. So I'm going to select this fillet and here I'll start by adding the radius. So the radius is 25. So I'll select radius from the panel. I'll type 25, enter. And I'll add the first fillet right here. Now I'll press enter again for the fillet command. I'll select radius and now I'll add another fillet of radius five and enter. And this time I'll add it here, enter, and the fillet should go here as well. But now we have a tiny gap here, which we can merge using extend tool. So I'll go to extend, I'll press enter, I'll click here and it will extend it up to the next boundary. All right, now let's trim some of the geometries here. So I'm going to go to trim, enter, and now I'll trim this, this, and this part of the circle again, this, this, and this part, and carefully remove the same part from every other 
copy here all right now that's a clean geometry now we need to add a tangent line which starts somewhere on the boundary of this and ends on the center of the circle so I'm gonna to go to line enter now I'll press and hold the shift key and I'll right click and I'll select snap to tangent all right now I'll click on the circle and and now I'll click on the center here so I'm gonna click and there we have it so that's the circle which we need let's go to trim again and let's trim these extra parts here there we have it and we have the clean drawing so we've made almost everything except a circle right here and for that we need some reference geometry so I'm gonna use line for that so I'll type L and enter for line and the line starts from the center so right here the distance is 62 enter now I'll move it up and I'll add a distance of 16 and enter and enter again so this is the point where we need to make the circle so I'm gonna type C enter from this end point I'll make a circle of radius 10 and enter and now we can delete these two reference lines all right so that's our 2d part so we have finished the 2d part now you can convert this one into 3d and to do that I'll go to solid right here we have the solid panel and now I'll press and hold my shift key and using my middle mouse wheel I'll just orbit this drawing you can do this just by using your middle mouse wheel or you can also use the navigation tools from here so here also we have all of these navigation views which you can easily switch to for example if you want to switch to orthographic view you can just click here and change it to that so I'm gonna just zoom out and I'll select extrude and I'll select this area of the drawing and enter and now you can add the height up to which you want to extrude this drawing so I'm gonna type 40 as the distance for extrusion and there we have it now I'll press my shift and I'll orbit this drawing using the middle mouse wheel and I'll extrude it to this side so I'll go to extrude the same geometry but from another side I'll move it here and again I'll type 40 and enter right here okay now that's extruded as well to this side now this is the wireframe view if you are comfortable with this that's fine but if you want to change the view to something else then you can go to here in the visual style option and change it to something else for example conceptual that's gonna make it look good here and you can clearly see everything so I'm gonna keep that and I'll add the other 3d solids here so I'm gonna go to extrude again and this time I'll select this part of the drawing I'll press enter and now I'll add a height of 20 unit and enter and I'll do the same for this side so I'm gonna go to this side and again extrude this part of the drawing enter and 20 and enter again okay so up to this point we've added the thicknesses on both the sides separately but that's not always needed you can add thicknesses directly on both the sides using just a sub command so I'm gonna do that now so I'll go to extrude and now I'll click on this profile and now I'll press enter and instead of applying the height here I'm gonna select both sides option and now you can apply the thickness the overall thickness for this profile on both the sides so I'm gonna type 20 so this will add a thickness of 10 unit on the top of that profile and 10 on the bottom so I'll press enter and there we have it so that's our profile all right now let's go to extrude again and I'll click here press enter and both sides and once again 40 so 40 is the overall height press enter now that's added a profile which is that's 20 on the top of that profile and 20 on the bottom here and that's our final drawing so as you can see it's pretty easy converting 2d to 3d in BricsCAD 
and even in 3d you can add your modifications for example let's try adding a fillet right here so for adding the fillet I'll go to this edit panel and I'll select fillet and I'll select this edge and enter and now you can add the radius value here so I'm gonna type 5 as the radius and I'll press enter and quickly you'll have this kind of fillet here so that's how you can make your drawings in BricsCAD. Now finally we'll save this so I'll go to file and save. I'll specify desktop as my location and look at this now it's saving my file in AutoCAD 2013 format so you can just call it test and save. And the drawing is saved on the desktop with DWG format which you can use in your BricsCAD software or in AutoCAD as well. So that was all about making this mechanical part in BricsCAD. If you have any question related to this, don't forget to let me know in the comment box. And as always, thanks for watching.